Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. Last episode was a mapping episode, so this episode is a content episode. And today the goal is to explore the mines, find the threat's spirit, and unlock the Rapture device waypoint. And also, not get killed by this angry dude. Oh, ah, uh, was a misclick. Didn't want to go to town. Let me go back. I can take him. Here. He's gonna die eventually. Just need to have some patience. There's a spirit there. Don't let it cut throat. No. Die. Also, I've been mucking a bit with my skills. That's why SS strain is not there. Interesting. Okay, that very much looks like a Torah hideout next to the entrance. So let's see if we can find Tora in the mines here. I think she's a little bit lost if she's actually looking for monsters in here. Oh man, there's another row, another spirit. So this was two spirits. Could have been the, the two spirits award, but uh, yeah, then I would have to lure the guy at the beginning along with me. Ah, there you are. Let's uh, kill the things around you, then talk with you. Yes, so we go back. Find the den. Ah, I missed that guy. And then kill things in the den. It's, uh, it's rather simple. Let's get there. Need to walk around it. Go downstairs. Someone took the effort to actually build something in the mines. So this is still level 68 area. I'm uh, 77 by now. Due to all the mapping and such. So I have a little bit of a level advantage. They do chaos damage since my life is ticking away while I still have energy shield. But it's, uh, it's not enough. Ah, death adders. Ooh, that's my second exalt. So doing side missions, it pays off. Apparently. Also, Golem, he bit the dust. There's a, a larger one in there. Two stone ring, 16%, but I stopped caring. I actually should take them out of my filter. Don't update my loot filter every time I record. But two stone rings are no longer special enough to warrant a highlight. Okay, let's uh, go through. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Hello there, Tora. Almost level 5. Ah. Speaking of chaos, these archer guys also do chaos damage. Or artillery things. Artillery snakes. And we move onwards. Okay. Might be a bit too far in the group. Oh, pike rivets. That's why I didn't die instantly. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Do, 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 do. Tyrants a second. 
And there is a mandible talisman. And that's a blue one. Nice. Don't find too many blues anymore. Jewelry. Uh, okay, we cleared some areas over there. Let's uh, walk around to here as well. Just about the screen to all directions. That's how I like it for safety. Leather hood. Okay, once more. It's very nice that it actually spawned on an intersection. The side mask, that's what I'm currently using. That's it, recast the golem, might be useful. Uh, drink a potion. Do I have anything? Ah, jewelry, alking it is, seems like a bit of a waste. Well, let's just, uh, let's just hit it. Gonna be fun to kill stuff anyway. And we get a rare coral amulet, which is useful for the chaos uh, recipe. Everything else is disposable. Yeah, let's uh, go bottom and then walk around that way. Okay, dead end here. Bend around. With a bit of luck, we take another turn to the top left. Ah, another intersection. Okay. Okay, we spread like a wildfire. Distance between the left and the right side was a bit too large. Essence drain didn't jump over. So today was a very nice announcement on the Path of Exile website. Uh, they've been slowly announcing new specializations for the Ascendancy class, for the Ascendancy expansion. And one of them that they announced today is the Trickster, which is a specialization for the Shadow. And it's basically built for this build. It's, it's for the Chaos Caster Shadow. Uh, it, it's directly built for that. You, it, it, it grants you a bonus to damage over time. Uh, if you kill something that's under the effect of a damage over time uh, effect, then... Ooh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, let's move on. If you kill something under the effect of a damage over time effect, then for the next four seconds all your life regen, mana regen and energy shield regen are boosted. So that's very nice to have. Um, I think there's bonuses to evasion, to energy shield. So more or less everything I'm doing with this character is directly boosted by the Trickster class. So once the, the, ascendancy, once the ascendancy League starts, I might actually have a go with this character at doing the labyrinth and looking at some of the bonuses and see how it benefits this character. Mm -hmm. Even though I will actually start a new character in the Ascendancy League to play in that league. I haven't decided what yet, but yeah, the more they announce, the more hyped I get. Because that, that's going to be really, really fun. Hey. Stone altar, that's good. I've got some uh, tier 2 amulets with me. Especially for this occasion. So let's uh, clear out some space because we will need a bit of an arena. I think something was coming through though. No, it didn't. Yeah. That's even better. So we came from there, we went here. I don't have the full use of my minions, but uh, it's probably gonna be okay. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we hit it and we port to the side. Put down a simple portal and we shoot stuff. Uh, Sire of the Falling Skies. That's not the one I was looking for, to be honest. I'm looking for Primordius. He's the last of the tier 3 bosses that still needs to be killed. But what does this do? 
Resolute 3 hand talisman of the storm. Gain 8% of physical damage as extra damage of a random element. Interesting. Feels like it would be very nice with elemental conundrum or equilibrium. Uh, elemental equilibrium. So if you're a mono element and you equip this one, 8% of your physical damage will cycle through random elements. So there's a big chance of boosting the elements that's not fire. So fire will actually get boosted more. Or whatever element you are focusing on. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Seems like you could do interesting stuff with it. Uh, okay, let's see. This is uh, for the next wave. Let's move on. We need to find this red here. And we need to find the Burning Man. Because level 2, you always kill the Burning Man. That's just uh, its tradition. Because the Burning Man is awesome. And because he's awesome, he needs to be killed. Pretty simple how that works. This is still a 67 area, it's still lower level than uh, most of the maps. Heck, it's uh, lower level than most of the, than, than actually all of the Zana missions I run every day. Oh look, it's a resistance shrine, surrounded by stuff. Necro silk. No resistance is not bad, it's just a... Uh, Elemental resists. Chance warp. Oh, I like it. X oh, plus minus 11 maximum player resistances. Does that stack with my bonus? We'll see. Probably not. Probably won't get to take the bonus. Nope. So. 64 resol, that means rather than 25% damage that I take, I now take uh, 36%. So basically monsters deal 50% extra elemental damage to me. So I have to be careful. But then again, careful is my standard state. Gives you a uh, block and spell block. Might help a little bit here with all the elemental stuff. Hey, that's a uh, throwing axe. You. Boom, that. Oh, pick up the currency. Yes. Basically drowning in the stuff, but. Still can't help myself to just pick up all the currency I find. Okay. Just dance around everything. What? He actually dodged me, or... I just missed him. A lot of armor scraps that I drop. It's actually so many of them that I start to notice it. <laughs> Boom. So I wonder what, what drops there. I haven't really found any uh, corrupted areas in the mines yet. That I remember. So I'm not quite sure what boss is gonna spawn here. That's uh, that's gonna be fun. Spirier, hello, hybrid, level 60. Not bad. 11% boost to all the stats. Might actually roll it into something. It's uh, better than the base I got on the other ones. Uh, okay, okay. Far enough into the mines that it, I'm starting to slowly expect to see the boss. So I'm just being a bit cautious. I test. 
Okay, big room on the other side. Chances are that there's a boss room of sorts. And as long as there's more to explore, you probably haven't found the boss. That's a good rule of thumb. So what is it gonna be? It would be awesome if it's like a, a corrupted version of the Burning Man. Just because it's such an iconic boss. <laughs> More armor scraps. So how many of those things do I got? Oh, it's only five. Uh, yep. At least it's a, a similar plateau. Colour fixer. Whoosh. Totemizer. So we got a leather belt, we got uh, a chisel, hey. got some pretty decent stuff. And then of course there is going to be a Val vessel. Sacrifice at noon. I might actually have four fragments now. Noon is top right? No, it's bottom left. So I think I only need the top right fragment to get one more. Hey, leather belt. Worms Molt. That's a low level one. Strength, int, cold resistance, max life, and physical attack damage leads just life and mana. I think I got this already somewhere. Oh well. Okay, this is a dead end. I can't actually teleport there, so let's just run around. Uh, let's go here. Let's see what's up. Probably the Shriek boss thing. Ooh, Black Maul Void Scroom. Oh, this is a unique that spawns with the talisman on top. I think there's an achievement for that. Doesn't happen very often. So, very happy. It would be even better if it drops another unique. Since I don't really have uh, a lot of uniques yet. But I think every tier only has one unique, so this is going to be yet the same actually here have some extras just to uh, out minion you see a coveted price that's a challenge so I'm uh, yet another step closer to getting more of the rigwald MTXs so the, the coveted price that's this one see so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I got 10 achievements right now. Um, Talisman says Sun Circle, I need to uh, sacrifice a unique and I only have one unique. So I can do it at any time, I just don't want to because it's my only unique Talisman. Uh, Merciless Act Bosses, that's of course uh, Malachi. It's just going to be a tough cookie. Complete Merciless Quests, that's uh, Indomitable Spirit, so that's going to be Disred, which is what we're currently on. Uh, bosses with Talismans, that's Primordius. Uh, hideouts, so I basically need to get a large hideout, and for that I need Elrion at uh, level 7, so just uh, slow and steady progress. And after that things get a little bit more exotic. So getting two empty access for, uh, for, for Rickwell's armor set is very doable. Uh, going beyond that, you need to apply some serious effort to get them. And some serious luck, I suppose. I mean, some of the things you have a zero control over. I mean, you can't choose when mod monsters with certain mods will spawn. You just need to play a lot to increase your chance of encountering those things. Just like the... The unique boss with the talisman that I just got. That's... No, that's just luck. I mean, what's my slash plate? Three days, nine hours. And I've also played a couple of other characters for a little bit. Not gonna go any further still, because we still need to find the shred. 
at least her spirit, which means she's already long, long gone. And of course, the Burning Man. It's on the other side of the wall. Okay, that's there. We can do this. Okay, that means Hammer Mash is gonna be here. If I'm a storm, sure, fine, whatever. Here. You guys die as well, gives me some charges. Hammer Storm's dead. I've got purity of uh, lightning and ice on switch leveling. Because they also boost your maximum resistance, so it's nice to swap them in if I have a, a map that is lightning enchanted or cold enchanted. Um, I haven't found purity of fire yet, so so no loose ends must list. That's another quest completed. It. Uh, talk to Tasuni. But first, let's go to the next level, and then we can put a portal down uh, there. Quickly pop to town, dump stuff in the stash. Oh, wait, let's go there. It's interesting how there is a trail here. <laughs> it lasts for quite a while. Right. Uh, let's pop a portal. So let's put everything we got in here. So, wow, I got a lot of ideas, calls. That's Gara. You will be remembered. Hello there, Tasuni. Passive skill point. Yes, Hi. thank you. So, more skill points, always good. 5% extra life, that takes us to 2968. Uh, I think constitution here is gonna take us to 3100. Just uh, gauging the impact of this. Gonna probably get us to 3100 or very close to it. So, very looking forward to the next level or the next skill point. Whatever comes first. So, looking for a rapture device. Hello there, Spine Constructs. Hey, I did miss the Burning Man, didn't I? But I did clear most of the levels. So. Too bad. I, I, I put in some effort to scout around, but... I'm gonna go back just for the Burning Man. It's just a fun thing to do. It's not a strict requirement. So, you guys actually hurt a bit. Especially if I glance at the health of my golem. His health bar was low. Let's just go this way. Probably have to go the other way though. Given how the, the layout is, the, the room is always facing to the top left. So the entrance is gonna be on the bottom right. So actually heading that way on the map probably has the best chance of finding that room. So let's change course and head over here. So open up this chest while he won't just bleed to death. So many golems. Yeah, let's look at them crumble. Whoosh. Ah, oh, that end. Uh, that means the path down here is going to be our next bet. I uh, basically just try to reason through it. Go up 
here. Hey, Burning Man. Seriously, he's in the crystal vein. I always thought he was level two. Uh, Klabush. Ha! <laughs> Give me your loot. Okay, so we killed him. That's always good. So I didn't miss him after all. Hey, avoid X. That's uh, six sockets, which I get more currency stuff to reroll sockets. Because in the end, that's what all six socket items are for that you don't use. You sell them, you get currency. That's why I highlight them. Very, very, very rarely do you actually get something useful with six sockets in it. And then getting something with six sockets that's actually linked, that requires a bizarre amount of currency. For people needing like hundreds of rerolls to actually get a six link. Hey, Katarina. I don't see her very often. Hello. What do you want? Find and revive four corrupted corpses. Hey, well, let's just have a look. Ah, there we find. Lady Diala. Don't die, Don't die, please. So, too bad for Katarina, but I'm not gonna go back. This has been going on for long enough. So, any missions? Nope. So, next content episode, we are gonna go after Kaum and Doreso, which is gonna be fun, interesting, scary. Uh, strike out all that doesn't apply, or leave all of that up there. So, yeah, but luckily before that, there's going to be at least one more mapping episode where I run a map and hope for better loot. Um, actually found, I mean, currently using carnal mitts and I'm using uh, shackled boots. There are murder mitts and murder boots. I have one of each. I just need more chaos orbs to reroll them. So I hope I will find some of those because that's going to be very, very useful. But... No, next episode you'll see if I found something useful or not, or if I'm still running around with the same old stuff I got right now. And with that, I thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.